What's going on, Flix Talkers? Welcome back to another movie haul. Now, in these videos, I like to show you guys what I like to pick up either through Amazon, Big Lots, thrift stores, etc. I just like to pick up physical media in general. You guys see that I'm a movie collector. I have many numerous shelves. I have movies under my bed that either just kind of intrigue me for a first time watch or something to watch offline. I just have a weird palette when it comes to my movies. Nah, I don't know how else to describe it. Sometimes I'll have movies that will never be touched for years and then I'll finally get to them and that's just what it is. Either way, we're movie lovers, we're movie collectors, and if you guys are too, please hit that big thumbs up to support the channel. Consider subscribing today for more. All right, now I wanted to give you guys a little insight on what I picked up recently. Now, these are not guaranteed to be reactions for the channel. It's just kind of something that, you know, I mean, they might be. If you guys wanna leave some comments below saying, David, that would be a great reaction for the channel, please let me know. Either way, I'll let you guys know if I have or have not seen them and pretty much why I picked them up. Uh, starting off with a DVD pickup for Johnny Mnemonic. If you guys have not seen this movie or if you guys have heard of this movie, you guys let me know. Uh, I've heard of this movie. I don't know anything about what it's about. I remember being uh, told that it has some of the worst CGI like in history. So you guys let me know, how is the graphics holding up on something like this in 2024, man? Have you guys seen it? It does have Keanu Reeves, uh, Dolph Lundgren on the front as well as what I see. And I, I don't know much about the premise, but you guys let me know, Johnny Mnemonic. All right, now next up is Dial M for Murder, which is an Alfred Hitchcock film. Don't know much about this. I did read a little bit of synopsis. Uh, it does come from what year? God, I should look this up. Uh, 55, possibly. So you guys let me know if you guys have heard of this one. Where does it rank amongst the Hitchcock films that you guys have seen? I would love to hear your thoughts on this one. When was the first time that you saw it? And is it a good one to watch for the channel? I gotta start watching some more Hitchcock films. I've only seen Psycho. <laughs> I think for the reaction um, now next up for a DVD now believe it or not people told me to watch some Scooby-Doo cartoons and people were really intrigued if I'd ever seen any I didn't I actually didn't even grow up on this cartoon is it Hanna-Barbera I believe uh, back in the day I really didn't I caught some of the replays just kind of growing up or just you know uh, those Cartoon Network sh uh, reruns that they would always show all the time and it was okay I never watched any of the movies though so I did find a movie that people recommended and one that I looked up that got really high praise and for an animated film about Scooby-Doo it kind of baffled me how this got such a high rating but okay I guess to each his own it is Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island, all right? Now, I don't know much about this. This will be a fun, just really short 77-minute ride if I do watch this uh, for the channel. So you guys let me know. What's the Scooby-Doo nostalgia for you guys? Are you guys really digging Scooby-Doo? Are you guys not? You guys let me know down in the comments below. All right, now next up, we got all the Blu-rays now. I only had a couple of DVDs there, but this one is really funny as it does come in a blockbuster case. It is 007's die another day now this is the pierce brosnan uh james bond with halle berry i do remember seeing this one i remember a lot of the advertisement for halle berry in the swimsuit there uh coming out of the water i i don't remember the premise at all whatsoever but you know what's so funny the lady at the counter actually charged me 99 cents for this that's the price that they were going for rental at Blockbuster. So I think she got confused that that was the actual sales price. And I was like, sure, thanks. And I just took it. Uh, I know I'm evil. Uh, karma's going to come get me. But either way, I don't like these Blockbuster cases. So I'm going to have to order some um, kind of blank uh, cases for Blu-rays and, and drop that slip cover in there as well as the uh, the Blu-ray itself, which let me see if it has a no, it's actually yeah, it's just I thought it would have like a Blockbuster, uh, you know, logo or something on here. Sometimes they do right in the middle, um, but that's good. I mean, I, I would love to go revisit revisit the uh, Pierce Brosnan uh, 007 as that was kind of my era when I was first introduced to these movies. So, yeah, you guys let me know if you guys uh, dig that one, if you guys have seen it. Next up, we have The Perks of Being a Wallflower, a movie that I literally just saw because someone recommended it on my Patreon. So uh, I had to actually get the digital to watch it. Now I have it in physical because I would like to rewatch this and show it to... Uh, my fiance Laura, who I think would definitely appreciate it. It is based off of a book, and from what I heard, the book is exceptional as well. Uh, so you guys let me know. Have you guys seen this one? What did you guys think? It's Ezra Miller, uh, it's uh, Emma Watson, and Logan Lerman. That's who it was, Logan Lerman. Someone that I have never seen until I saw this movie. 
So I mean, I'm sure I've seen him in something else. I just don't know that name, Le Logan Lerman. It doesn't really roll off the tongue too much, and I don't really remember seeing him. Uh, next up, we have Pirate Radio. Let me know if you guys have seen this one. Uh, it does have a couple of familiar faces, British faces, uh, that I've seen in the sphere. I believe it also has uh, John C. Riley in there, so rest in peace to him. The synopsis I read on this one, I actually took, a, I actually took some time because I remember seeing the advertisement for this a while back, you know, a trailer and whatnot, about... Uh, I believe in the 60s, uh, they were trying to kind of outlaw uh, rock and roll, something like that in, in, in the UK, uh, or it was being very heavily censored or something like that. And they took it upon themselves, this group took it upon themselves to create this pirate radio station, literally a pirate radio station uh, where I guess it was, uh, um, I don't know if it's on a boat, if it's being broadcast on a boat or something like that. Uh, but you guys let me know if this is a fun one. Either way, this will be a, uh, you know, a first time watch for me. And uh, yeah, I, I hope I can enjoy it. You know, you guys let me know. Uh, now, next up, wow, I got this one only thing for a couple bucks. It wasn't it wasn't even priced. And she goes, you know what? I'm going to give it to you for four dollars. Is that OK? And I'm like sold. Uh, but I know one of these movies for sure, I think is his first film. I could be wrong about this. You guys let me know. But it is Jim Carrey. It's a double feature. Jim Carrey in Once Bitten. And then you also have Love at First Bite. Don't know about that one, but it is a Shout Factory, uh, Scream Factory, double feature. And Love at First Bit, Bite has George Hamilton, uh, Richard Benjamin, and Susan St. James. Uh, don't know about that. But Jim Carrey in Once Bidden, Laura Hutton, Kara Coppins. Coppins? Okay. Uh, Clevin Little. Yeah. And it has the alternate covers, man. The alternate slips are what I love about these Shout Factories. And I, for $4? Come on now. Stop playing with me. I need this in my life. I heard Once Bitten was actually pretty silly. So I actually might watch that one for a first time reaction. But you guys let me know, is it any good? I mean, I think I got a deal. I think I got a good deal for that one. All right, now next up is a movie that I have seen. I will be watching again uh, because people told me I missed so much in my first time reaction. It is The Blues Brothers. All right, you guys let me know if you guys got The Blues. Um, this movie is actually very, very fun. Never watched the sequel, Blues Brothers 2000, I believe. And um, yeah, this is just a very fun kind of sing-along-y movie almost. Uh, it said it includes a theatrical and extended versions of the movie. I don't remember even which ones I saw. So you guys let me know the differences. If you guys do know them offhead. And yeah, John Belushi and uh, Dan Aykroyd. John Belushi, rest in peace. Uh, now next up is one that I forgot what I was watching recently, but it was one of my older pickups. And it was an older movie from about maybe 10 years ago or no, it might've been less. Uh, okay, this came out in 2017, so less, maybe like uh, six or seven years ago. And, you know, they always have the previews right at the beginning for whatever is coming out. And, yeah, it, th this popped up. It was a magnet release, and it was uh, Marrow Bone. Let me know if you guys have heard of this one, but I'm on a I'm on a, a, a Mia Goth kick, man, and I she's in this freaking movie with Anya Taylor Joy, and then you also have this guy is really really good. It's uh is it maybe Charlton uh Charlie Heaton, George McKay? I don't know which one it is. It's this whoever he is, I like him. Sorry about the glare, guys. Uh, I like him a lot, but uh, he is in this movie, and uh. This set definitely seemed like a creeper, creeper sleeper hit, I should say. And I don't know if it's any good or not, but it definitely seemed creepy, the uh, the trailer. And I'm like, I got to watch this movie. And then literally weeks later, I found this at, uh, I think this was at Big Lots. Yeah, this is at Big Lots. And I was like, whoa, it was sealed. And, and you know, I, I don't I think again, again, I think he was like, there's no price on this. I'm going to give it to you for four dollars or three dollars and i'm like cool sold sealed blu-ray and dvd uh, but you guys let me know i'm in for creepy times and like i said i'm on a mia goth kick i haven't seen every single movie that she's in we're gonna watch maxine in the next couple of days so we'll let you guys know how that was uh now next up another guy that i never see anything from at all recently uh steven dorf break you guys let me know about this one so this i read this premise and it's uh something similar that i've seen uh, like a movie from Ryan Reynolds, uh, Buried. If you guys uh, know about that movie, where the whole movie, he is buried alive. And it's him trying to uh, figure a way out, figure out how he got there, and uh, what can he do in the, the time allotted, which is uh, like the hour and a half run time or whatever until he has no more oxygen or something like that. Um, but I think this is kind of the same scenario. He's dropped in a, in a, in a trunk 
The trunk of a car, that's what it is. He's left nothing but, the, uh, but a CB radio and an ominous digital timer. And things just start happening. Uh, like horror stuff starts happening. So either way, I've always thought this guy is a good actor. I don't, what happened? I don't know what happened. He must have had a controversy. The only time these guys fall out of Hollywood is some kind of weird controversy. Or, uh, I don't know, uh, spending issues like Nick Cage, where he spends too much money. You guys let me know if you know anything about Stephen Dorff. I'm just speculating once again. I got this for $4 and it'll be a first time watch. Um, I don't care. I like to support movies. I don't, whatever. Uh, next up we have uh, one that uh, kind of the tagline just sold me. And I did look it up and I think got a higher rating. I uh, had a bloody disgusting uh, uh, tagline on the back or quote that says, we'll stay with you longer after watching. So we got a creepy uh, one. Also, this is at the Tribeca Film Festival. So that's great to see. Um... It's Resolution. You guys let me know if you guys have heard of this one, but it seems like a torture porn type movie. Sometimes those can be pretty good. I don't know. Uh, I know I'm weird for saying that, uh, but you guys let me know. I'm in for a creepy time. Four dollars. Can't go wrong. I don't know what else to say about it because I don't know anything about it. Also, um, this next one, I don't know if this got good ratings or not. I think got average ratings, um, but I did look it up. It, it's kind of a blind, just a blind, blind buy for me. And it does have a slip cover that looks super cool to me. And it's called Open 24 Hours. You guys let me know if you've ever seen this one. It says, pray you never run out of gas. Okay. I just thought that was a cool um, slip cover. Once again, $4. Uh, they put the sticker right on here, so it's going to rip. Um, but yeah, it just, I mean, it looks, I don't know, like some creepiness happening in a grocery store, a 24-hour grocery store. Uh, you guys let me know. It says, welcome to the graveyard shift. And, um... Bloody disgusting says compelling, though. So, okay. Sometimes with these independent films, uh, I don't know. Sometimes they're really hit or miss. So I, I, I like to take a chance on them. You know, I'm a weirdo like that. Uh, now next up, now we got some big name here. Big big names here. We got James Wood and uh, oh James Woods. I always say James Wood. James Woods and Robert Downey Jr. in true believer now i put this picture up and people were like that movie is dope please watch that one and i hadn't heard nothing about this one i think it's a, a courtroom drama i could be wrong it says the only good fight is the one you win all right so you guys let me know also where did they start releasing these like vhs looking blu-ray slips was this at walmart at one time i i could i could have sworn that this was like at a walmart uh and we we know that as some of these, you know, uh, targets and Best Buy start phasing out their, you know, very specific special editions or whatever, you will find them at Big Lots, guys. So I found a lot of, this one's a Mill Creek. Uh, I found a lot of uh, Vestron. I found a lot of Scre Scream Shout Factory stuff at Big Lots for a, uh, you know, a fraction of the price of what it goes for online. So please keep an eye out, guys. But let me know if you guys have seen this one, True Believer. Like I said, I believe it was just a, a courtroom type of drama. Could be wrong about that, but it has some big names. And I like both those guys, you know, as far as in the acting department. Now, next up is a movie that I saw recently on a Patreon pick. Uh, thank you to Ellie and Cherokee, by the way. Uh, so I had to get that on. I had to get that on digital. That was the only way I could find it. And then, lo and behold, a month later. I find it in my local Big Lots, man. An Innocent Man with Tom Selleck. This is a movie. Now this is a dang movie. We're talking about movies that need to be up there with American Me. Blood in, blood out. These behind prison door movies, this needs to be up there with people need to be talking about this one. And I'm sure people are like, oh, we talked about it. No, people now need to be talking about this, all right? This shit is nuts. And it's really about, you know, really puts the fear into an innocent, honest working man that has no criminal records and has no expectations or knows what he's gonna get himself into when going to jail for being wrongfully accused. It put the fear into my butthole. It really, I'm sorry to be crude, but it put the fear into my heart as well of what the hell would I do when I arrived at a prison at an environment that I knew nothing about only from movies and music? Come on now. Watch Tom Selleck's An Innocent Man. This movie kind of, you know, kind of changed my perspective, you know, perspective on Tom Selleck. I always thought he was more of a clean cut guy. I didn't know he got down like this, but... You guys let me know if you guys have seen this one. But this was a great one. I'm so glad I own it on Blu-ray now. So those are my pickups, guys. 
And uh, let me know if you guys have seen any of those. I would love to kind of pick your brain. And like I said, I do these for fun, whether anybody watches it or not. It's just to add to the collection uh, to pique my interest of, of, of just watching more movies. I like to just watch more movies and just whenever I have some downtime or I'm not recording for you guys, either in the background or just with watching with somebody, you know, or you guys let me know. Uh, when's the best time that you like to watch movies? You know, when you guys are just kind of turning down, when you guys are really engaged with the, with the subject material. Is it just a background movie? Is it a phone movie? We have a lot of phone movies nowadays, especially on Netflix, just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. You got something going on in the background. I hate that it's come to that. <laughs> that we have these sub-genres of movie watching, but it is what it is, guys. We have so much. And I have so much movies to watch in no little time. Thank you, guys. Hit that big thumbs up to support the channel. Consider subscribing today. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm gone. Peace.